Yo, what's up, guys? Today we are reacting to this video. The history of Norwegian royalty. If you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. This video is from a channel called Ethereal Luxury. The link to this video, the original link is in the description, as always. Guys, let's go and check this out. I want to know the history of the royal family in Norway. Let's do this. This video covers the royal family of Norway, and you don't want to skip this video. The Norwegian royal family is frequently referred to as the world's most hip royal family. Hip? But why are they so usually regarded as the most modern royals? The family's success oh is my. attributed to their openness to the public, their relatable character, and their inclusive outlook. Wait, is he wearing a bald cap? Is he trying to say he's Prince William or something? Um, just kidding. But wait, the royal family does cosplay? What? If you're from Norway, guys, <laughs> what is your impression of um, the royal family? Let me know before we even start the video. What are your thoughts on the royal family? And do you like them? Do you dislike them? Why and why not? Let's go. Their relatable character and their inclusive outlook. They commonly use public transportation and routine wow. domestic flights in Norway. And they are frequently spotted in public places, including on National Day. So you're saying that you could meet the king, like, sitting next to you in a domestic flight or in public? Have you ever met the king or the queen or the princess? Bro, this is so... Wow, nice. I like that. Is it safe, though? Which falls on May 17. Their persuasive just... public speeches yeah. are another factor in their appeal. The spoken communications of the Norwegian royal family attest to their inclusiveness, compassion, and openness. King Harold recently said in a speech that Norwegians come from all parts of the kingdom, including the north, the center, and the south. Additionally, immigrants from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Poland, Sweden, Somalia, and Syria have settled in Norway. Royal House and Family in Norway, the royal house, Kongusit, and the royal family, Kongolaj family, are clearly separate. The heir apparent and her spouse, as well as the heir apparent's eldest child, are the only members of the royal house. The royal family, in comparison, has a considerably more expansive meaning. All of the monarch's children, their spouses, grandkids, and underlings are included. The king, H.M. The family's head is Harold V the King of Norway, who was born on February 21, 1937. Oh. Following the passing of his father, King... 1937, that would make him uh, almost 100 years old. Well, 90... And I'm not, I'm not going to think of the math now. King Olaf V. Harold ascended to the throne on January 17, 1991. King Olaf V and Prince... 86, right? 87 something. Princess Martha of Sweden had three children together, but their only child was King Harold V. Norway's royal family is not as secretive as some other royal families are. Along with other members of the current royal family, the king has played an important role in the modernization and organization of the family, which includes a certain level of openness and accessibility to the public. In the past, King Harold V was a passionate sportsman, he participated in the sailing competition at the Olympic Games in 1964, 1968, and 1972. He oh. also won a bronze medal in 1988, a gold medal in 1987, a gold medal for the and a king. silver medal at the 1982 World Sailing Championships. That is awesome. Egan, the Queen. Queen Sanja was born on July 4, 1937. In Brazil. On August 29, 1968. They were wed in the cathedral in Oslo. She Is she the one who was born in Brazil? She was crowned queen on January 17, 1991. In 1959, she first met the then crowned Prince Harold, and they went on to date for nine years. But for a while, the connection was kept under wraps because she was a commoner. King Olaf V, the crown prince's father, eventually granted the couple his blessing so they could be together and get married. In the past, Queen Sanja has worked on and taken part in a number of humanitarian initiatives, including founding the Princess Martha Louise's Fund and serving as the Vice President of the Norwegian Red Cross. 
Nice. The Princess Martha Louise's fund was established to aid disadvantaged children in Norway. HMR8, the crown prince. Haakon Magnus, the 46-year-old heir to the throne, is the crown prince of Norway. He is King Harald V's only son and Queen Sanja's second child. Really? He is wed to Met Merit Chesum Hybe, HR8, the crown princess. So what happens if, you know, God forbid, but what happens if, if he dies? You know, who, who, who's next in line? Does, is it his son? There's only one son? Princess Ingrid Alexandra and Prince Fair Magnus are their joint offspring. In addition, Matt Merritt has an elder child from a prior union named Marius borg -Kadi. The Crown Prince earned a Political Science Bachelor's degree from the University of California, Berkeley, in 1999. At the London School of Economics, where he completed his schooling, he earned a Master's degree in Developmental Studies. His military experience includes the Royal Norwegian Navy. He Princess Martha Louise, King Harold and Queen Sanja only have one child, Princess Martha Louise. She was married to author, playwright, and visual artist Ari Ban, who tragically committed suicide on December 25, 2019. Why? Wow. Emma Talula and Maud Angelica Ban were their three children. Nevertheless, the couple split in 2017. A Princess Astrid. A Princess Astrid is the younger sister of King Harold V and the second child of King Olaf V. In 1932, she was born in Oslo. Similar to her brother, she too wed Joanne Martin Ferner, a commoner, and the two later had five children together. In 2015, her husband passed away. Oh, that's During sad. During World War II, she and other family members fled Norway and temporarily settled on the east coast of America. She relocated to Oxford, England, shortly after the war to pursue her studies in economics and political history. Princess Astrid is the younger sister of H.A. Princess Ragnhal, who died in 2012 aged 82. Uh -huh. Princess Ragnhal, despite being King Olaf V's firstborn, was never in line to be on the Norwegian throne. This was because the country's agnatic law of succession. Interestingly though, during her lifetime, she was positioned 16th and 17th to take her place on the British throne. Royal Properties Now let's take a look at the palaces and other buildings. The Royal Palace The Norwegian royal family have various places of residence in Norway. That's nice. The but then who pays for it? Is it the taxpayer, like here in the UK? Most notably and recognizable of those abodes is the Royal Palace. It is located at Slottsplassen in Oslo, right at the end of the city's main street. Carl Johans Gate, along with City Hall and the Opera House. The Royal Palace is one of the more frequent images on the front of postcards. Lidl. Lidl is the name of the king's official home, the municipality of Stavanger. Lidl. Almost like the supermarket. <laughs> Lidl. The home was rebuilt in 1863. 60 years after it was constructed between 1799 and 1803. It was initially primarily utilized as a vacation home by the Keelan family after being constructed by rich businessman and shipowner Gabriel Keelan. And I can notice that it's it's very near like other neighborhoods, right? There are other residential houses right right next to it. So like the king, the royal family actually like live within the community. It was first used as a royal house soon after undergoing additional renovations in 1949, not long after the end of the Second World War. Oskarshal. Oskarshal is a summer palace situated on the Bidoy Peninsula in Oslo. It was built in 1852 after being commissioned by King Oscar and Queen Josephine. Oskarshal is one of the country's finest examples of neo-Gothic style a type of architecture that was popular in the age of Norwegian Romanticism. The public can visit the palace each summer when guided tours can be taken. Other nice. Royal properties include Have you guys been there? Bigdo, a mountain chalet in Gudbrandsdal Valley at Vinstra, Gamelhagen in Bergen, and of course... Bro, the repetition of images is just getting me dizzy. What royal doesn't have its own royal yacht? History. 
the establishment and unification of Norway, as well as the reign of its first king, Harald I of the Fairhair dynasty, are where the history and origin of the Norwegian monarchy may be traced. A single monarch and one royal family were only permitted to reign through succession with the establishment of the Norwegian law of succession in 1163. During the Kalmar Union in the late Middle Ages, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark shared a single ruler, and Norway stayed united with Denmark until Sweden left the Union in 1523. Following the Reformation, a joint Danish-Norwegian state was established 1536-37, which was ruled from Copenhagen by the House of Oldenburg until Norway was ceded to Sweden at the Treaty of Kiel in 1814 following Denmark-Norway's defeat in the Napoleonic Wars. Norway was briefly independent with its own king in 1814, but was forced into a new union with Sweden under the rule of the House of Bernadotte. Upon becoming independent in 1905, Norway decided through a referendum to remain a monarchy, with its first monarch being the Danish-born King Haakon VII. What about now? Like nowadays, um, is Norway still keen on becoming or, or continuing being a monarch, a monarchy, or are there talks of you know not having the the monarchy anymore? Because here in the UK, some people are in favor, some people are against, and some people want to remove the monarchy like a hundred percent. How is it in Norway? Is there a debate about this, or is everyone just happy? Because I would suppose that. You know, if the royal family is hip and modern and, you know, down to earth, um, I don't think people would be against monarchy. Um, I don't know. They would be fond of the, the royal family, I guess. Um, and as long as they're not, you know, wasting people's taxpayer money, right, then people are happy with that. So I'm very interested in knowing, like, how accepted is the monarchy nowadays? Um, here in the UK, there has been so many controversy and so many scandals, so I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the monarchy will last for two more generations. I'm not sure, because, you know, I'm not sure. Whose family consisted of the British Princess Maud and their son Olav. It is King Haakon's descendants that today make up the current royal family of Norway. Through marriages and historical alliances, the Norwegian royal family is closely related to the Swedish and Danish royal families, as well as- Bro, in this picture, he looks older than the queen. So you can imagine that- Bro, look at how many medals he has. That is awesome. But you can imagine that he is much older than the queen. He outlived the queen. Bro is closely related to the Swedish and Danish royal families, as well as being more distantly related to the royal families of Greece and the United Kingdom. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Guys, this is a nice video, and as I mentioned before, the channel is in the description if you want to go and check them out and support them. I, I think this is a... I'm not sure how accurate it is, but I think it's a nice video. So thank you guys for watching. I will read your comments afterwards. And if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments what I should react to. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have a request, a specific video you want me to react to, the link is in the description. There's a request form. Just go there and you can request any video. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right.